Paypal Chinese reading practice. Today, this paragraph H has K2 level, and uh, this is brief reintroduction of the family situation. So, I recommend you to use one minute to read this paragraph by yourself first. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate. 昨天我们去了王老师家，他请我们吃饭，喝咖啡。王老师家有五口人，他爱人在一家有名的大公司工作，他工作很忙。他们有一个孩子，是个男孩，今年四岁，很聪明，也很可爱。王老师的爸爸妈妈六十多岁了，跟他们住在一起。OK， second time。昨天我们去了王老师家，他请我们吃饭喝咖啡。王老师家有五口人，他爱人在一家有名的大公司工作，他工作很忙。他们有一个孩子。是个男孩，今年四岁，很聪明，也很可爱。王老师的爸爸妈妈六十多岁了，跟他们住在一起。Okay, so this paragraph, first thing I want to mention is this phrase, 王老师家 Actually, it should be 王老师的家 Normally, we use the 的 between the Uh, between the central words and the words which is going to attribute the central words, but、uh, for some situation we will omit that.、Uh, we will omit the, especially to something like really close relationship to you, like your family, your home, or your husband, your dad. We could just say like your dad. We could just say 你爸爸 because this is like the closest. Family member to you, and the same situation here. 他爱人 that should be 他的爱人 her couple or her lover. And this word 爱人 at、uh, in Chinese language, especially nowadays, uh, it indicates that the your couple already like you be already me be are you two already married, and which situation we will use this word that is. Uh, for the quite formal situation, normally,、uh, for some for some situation about the work working condition, like you introduce your husband or your wife、uh, to your boss or to your、uh, colleagues, like this situation, we could use this one, and、uh, and this word, the benefit of this word is there's no difference between the female and the male, and both whether we which gender. Your your couple is,、um, you can just use this word to 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 referee referee him or her. It's very convenient. Okay, and then and here so 是个男孩 So for some, uh, the full sentence should be 他是一个男孩 right? 他是一个男孩 And that here indicate this child. But at here, uh, because they already have that. We have this context, so we could just omit the subject here. And、uh, other situation is like the, in Chinese language, when a phrase of the number and the measure word, if the number is the quite the quantity is one, we could just omit the number, just use the measure word to indicate the quantity is one. So at here it's 是个男孩 And the rest of the sentence here are just、uh, to describe this guy,、uh, this child. So you can、uh, you can find the Chinese language is really topic based, and the more example, more better is this sentence. 他工作很忙 So at here we have 他 and have the 工作 So it, it's quite different from the English because you can say he work very very busy, and at here it should be he or 工作 Which one should be the subject? And this is the typical sentence structure in Chinese language that a a a, a sentence a full sentence play as a predicate at here. So because if we delete ta at here, 
工作很忙 ，also make things. The work is very busy. But I hear is the topic is him, his ta, and then rest the part. 工作很忙 is describe is talking the situation about him. So ta and here, this is the this is the topic of the sentence. And、uh, yeah, in English you will say this is a subject, but to us it is more like a topic. And also about this sentence, the rest of the part is all around this child. To be talked about, and the last point here is 六十多岁 So do do after the number means sixty and more. And how many? Actually, we don't know. This is a way to indicate the approximate number in Chinese language. Okay, that's all. See you next time. 下次见